I always like the metaphor of a tree, and I've used that with the tree and all the branches and all the leaves. When you first go on the spiritual journey and your mind is untrained, you're just dealing with the leaves. It's just a lot of leaves. It's all you've got is leaves. You know, it's people can come and say, all is God, all is one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a, a lot of leaves I'm working with here. You know, take your oneness somewhere else. You know, I don't want to hear about the oneness. I've got leaves, practical leaves, leaves I've got to deal with every day. And so, and then you get off of the leaves and you do find that there's little branches underneath. And then as you go follow those branches in, they get bigger and bigger and thicker and thicker until, lo and behold, you finally come to a, a trunk, a single trunk. Oh my God, the zillions of leaves and there's just one trunk underneath them all. And the closer you can come to that, the, the closer you come to forgiveness, which is overlooking the trunk. Of course the Holy Spirit can overlook the trunk, so the Holy Spirit overlooks the leaves as well. It even says that in the Course. You know, the Holy Spirit looks not to effects. The Holy Spirit looks not at the leaves. Because He has overlooked, He has overlooked the trunk, He has overlooked their cause. All these myriad effects are coming from an ego cause that isn't a real cause. So they're causeless. This world is causeless, completely causeless. God didn't create it. it. It doesn't have a source. It's just a bunch of unreal effects that come from an unreal cause. But the Holy Spirit looks not to effects. I love that. I love that. It starts to really tell me what's really going on with healing. Looks not to effects because He has overlooked the cause. And He looks to the light of the atonement. He overlooks the, the ego right smack dab into the light of the atonement. He overlooks the air and, and locks right in on the correction. It's kind of like that movie Groundhog Day. How many times does he step in the, in the hole with the puddle? You know, his foot goes down in there and it, he does it again and he does it again and he does it again. And yet at some point he's there and he, he starts to do it. His foot starts to go down and he goes and he pulls it back and he goes like this and he hops over the puddle. He has a moment of awareness. It doesn't matter how many times he's, he stepped into the puddle. It's not important anymore how many times he stepped into the puddle. He's aware that there's a puddle there and he's not going to step into that. And isn't that beautiful? That's, that's when you start to feel the value of, of hopping over. You know, that's when you can choose the miracle. You're, you, you can come and overlook the trunk. You don't have to worry about the leaves. And I think, you know, that's what true healing's about.